hello and welcome back to my another tutorial in this tutorial i'm going to share with you how to configure cisco wap321 router so let's take a look first of all if you buy this router new obviously you will, uh, you will get something uh, a router and then you will get a, a power connector for this uh, uh, Cisco router also I hope you also get a uh, like a Ethernet cable like this which will you will get inside this box so in this uh, video purpose we need all these things we need internet cable and we need uh, uh, we, hopefully you will get all these things inside this box also one thing more if you, you, you buy this router just now or you have already this router and you want to uh, reconfigure it like you want to reset the password etc things so that's everything is same process first of all i'm going to connect this router with the electricity so you, you have to plug in here this electricity electricity jacket and then this is a power button uh, to turn on and off your Cisco router and this I'm going to uh, connect uh, this with my electricity extension first of all we had connected the power jack and then we had turned on our Cisco router and then we had connected this Ethernet connection with this Cisco router and the other slot we had connected with our CPU or laptop whatever you have you will see there is a reset button either you buy this new or either you uh, you you want to reset this you can do same things so i'm going to long press over this reset button uh, i will keep as uh, for around 30 seconds this device going to be restart also you're going to see uh, this uh, light indicator will be switch off when you reset you will see there will be disable OEFI which is invisible you can see the power button is visible and the Ethernet connection is visible because I had connected my RJ45 connection with my CPU I will try to share with you as much as easy for you to understand so we had connected successfully with our computer that Cisco router now we need to change our IP address to configure the Cisco router in this case we need to go our ethernet adapter setting so you can go within two way to that ethernet setup you can go simply click here your uh, internet connection here that's just simply right click over there and then you will find here something called open network and internet setting when you click there it will appear a screen like this just simply go here ethernet in the right side you will see change adapters option simply choose that and then you will see there will be a network connection and adapter will appear now we had connected with our uh, computer with ethernet so we're going to right click over on it and then we're going to click here properties and then we will see there will be ethernet properties will appear skin something like this we need to jump over ethernet protocol version 4 so double click on it and then you will see there will be a new screen appear here you have to choose use the flowing ip address IP address type here uh, IP address 192.168.1 and then last we need to type here 10 and simply click here and you will see uh, subnet marks will appear automatically so so you have to first you need to click this 192.168.1.10 and now click here ok and then click here ok now we're going to open our uh, any web browser so now I'm going to open my Google Chrome browser or you can use any web browser in address bar you need to type here 192.168.1.245 and hit enter you will see a screen appear something like this and you type here username and password so all maximum Cisco router username is Cisco and password is Cisco so it might be different but this WAP321 default username and password is Cisco Cisco so you're going to type here username Cisco C I S C O and the password is C I S C O and then we're going to click here login. You can see it's successfully a login this Cisco router. Now you can see the here is a scan on it. We can uh, directly configure from here 
but I'm going to click this I'm going to click here cancel now you need to when you click cancel it's asking to change the uh, default password and make a new password so we're going to type here our old password which was Cisco and then we're going to type here new password so first is your old password which is Cisco and here your new password so you can you have to type the new password and then simply click here save after click on save this is going to be a reset or now you can you can you can see it's no longer so you have to log in with new password so we're going to type here username is Cisco and the new password we're going to type our new password and then we're going to click here login we'll see now it's appear the login screen in this screen in the left side we will find something called wireless simply click that and then you have to click this radio tab when you in radio tab you need to enable this radio function so we just click here enable and then we're going to click here save after we're going to click here save we'll see a uh, confirm message so we're going to click here okay and again in the left side we'll find here in the wireless tab we'll find here something called network so you're going to click here network and after click on network we'll see a screen appear like this we're going to click here choose this you can see this is the uh, default Cisco which is the default SSD name we're going to click this and we're going to choose this after first of all you need to choose this and then we need to click here edit here now it will give you option to uh, rename or uh, edit the Cisco name or the security so Cisco name we're going to type here uh, I'm going to type here my channel name tips and trick tips and trick and here you can see this is SSID name which is uh, if you say when anyone going to connect this name going to appear in their device so make sure you, you need to type the uh, switchable one which one you want to and here in the left side right side you will see security section it's now saying none it's mine if you connect with any computer it's going to be any network it's going to be automatically uh, using without password if you want to secret the password obviously we need so we're going to click here this uh, down arrow tab and we're going to click here WAP personal and then we're going to type our password so I'm going to type my password and then I'm going to click here save after we're going to click here save we're going to getting another confirm meshes saying you may be disconnected so we're going to click here ok so after that we had successfully set up our Cisco WAP321 and you can easily log out from this screen and you can easily uh, connect your Cisco router with your uh, Ethernet connection which is with C, uh, or any switch or where, wherever you want to so in this way you can easily configure your Cisco WAP321 router so that's for now thanks for watching my video see you next time peace